want some love, and uh, welcome to Detroit City, I said welcome to Detroit City, every place, everywhere we go, man we deep, everywhere we roll, let's go around, man they all know tricky, is up guys I don't think it's been long enough but I'm back with another black and white video and this was against Furt Lover or something like that and I met him on the TPX chat but he's gonna lead off with a uh, Scyther I'm gonna lead off with this guy uh, Vol Volteros because I felt like nothing on his team really wanted the take of Thunderbolt and he's going to survive it with a focus sash and get off a U-turn. I don't really care. I know I could take whatever he had because I myself have a focus sash. And this is a team I've made to try and counter all the bullshit weather teams. Because this guy with uh, Prankster will be able to set up the rain right before uh, he dies with his uh, priority. So I feel that way it can be a last ditch effort to try and kill off their weather person and get my rain up just the sweep with Kingdra but be that as it may a bunch of stuff happens I predict a switch go for a toxic now predict another switch and just set up my rocks and that's good because I got that for alligator toxic so he's on the clock and he goes into this guy and I'm not sure what he wants to do but I thought I remembered in the back of my mind flying type so I was like hidden power ice go and then he starts quiver dancing, and I'm like, well, fuck. Because now his special defense is being raised, so I'm going to just set up uh, Toxic on him as well. After taking a bug buzz really well. And he goes for a bug buzz, so I'm thinking, alright, he doesn't really have anything to touch me. I'm going to go into Scizor, who can take the next bug buzz times four, resist. Special defensive Scizor set up with Sword Dance. So you can follow that train of thought. But no, he's going to show me now, he has Hidden Power Fire, and Scizor dies. So, for some reason he thought Stab Bug was more damage than Super Effective Hidden Power Fire. But whatever, so Scizor goes down. I'm going to be able to wall this thing now with, uh, well, not exactly wall, but take a hit and then finish it off with a Thunderbolt with the Boltros. So, everything's still good. This guy actually didn't have a weather team, but the purpose of my team is to win. So, that's working out just fine. He's going to go into that thing, and I'm predicting a sucker punch. And, no, I'm not. I'm dying. That's what I predicted. Dying. No, I have no idea what I was doing. So, I guess I just wanted to get some damage. Oh, yeah, because the last time I predicted a sucker punch, and he didn't go for it. He went for a toxic. And so this time I was thinking, alright, he doesn't have it, so went for a Thunderbolt, but alas, he did have it. And so I'm going to go for a Flare Blitz, doesn't take him out, but rather than finishing, finishing me off with a close combat, he's just going to Toxic me. I don't really care, this is a banded ape, he doesn't really stay in long enough for Toxic to do anything. But I'm just going to try and finish him off with another Flare Blitz, but he goes into Scyther to get some more Toxic damage. So that's fine, I'm just going to switch now because he's going to resist with Pelipper. And I like the Pelipper, but really, Pelipper sucks. So, <laughs> whatever. He's going to Roost, that's fine, I'm just going to set up a Toxic because I all Pelippers seem to be stockpile bulky type sets. And no one uses it for a reason. He's going to knock off my leftovers. And so, that's kind of annoying, but I don't think he can really touch me other than that. So I'm just going to get him with a Toxic and now start going for some Hidden Power Ices. And he's going to go back into this guy, hit me with an Intimidate. Hidden Power Ice goes, not affected by the Intimidate. It's going to do a nice little chunk. But I'm just going to set up another Toxic just because... And he's going to go for a Close Combat. And it looks like in, this is going to be a 3-hit KO... Because this is like my one true wall on this team. So he has uh, mixed defenses to be able to take it on either side. Plus, if I ever set up that rain, any fire moves will be resisted. And I feel like those are the usual special hits other than the flare blitzing. But that's why I feel like he can take hits. But he gets a crit, takes me out, doesn't matter. He has Toxic and I'll be able to take him out soon enough with... Uh, 
my oh road and wash but I'm predicting the sucker punch so I'm just gonna switch right back out into Kingdra and I wanted to bring in something that does not set up I wanted to make sure he went for that sucker punch something that's faster and doesn't set up so that's why I went into road and first and this time I'm just gonna set up a sub with Kingdra and he's gonna go for a toxic so that's great Kingdra is sitting nice behind a sub and uh, he's gonna die to toxic so I can now go to a free dragon dance no matter what he brings in so things aren't looking good for him he's gonna go in for alligator and I'm gonna now proceed to toxic stall him after dragon dancing up once so I can outspeed but yeah guys sorry I haven't <laughs> been around I've had quite a bit going on um, yeah I was a junior this last year so had to take all those SATs, ACDs and bullshit hopefully this senior year will be more chill so I can get up more videos and uh, let's see what else uh, that's pretty much it school's over, summer started and I'm gonna see if I can get back into the whole Pokemon thing Decided to have a quick match with this guy, and, well, looks like I still have some skill, because I ended up winning, spoilers. Kind of swept with this Kingdra, because he... I now have two Dragon Dances up, and I'm going to be able to outspeed everything on his team. Oh, and some of the moves I make don't really make sense. I thought he had a Jirachi, but he doesn't, so that's why I'm trying to refuse to lock into Outrage. So I'm just going to kill him off with a waterfall because it's uh, uh, going to KO anyway. So now he's going to go into Motham. And this is why Stealth Rocks are going to save me because Motham's going to get the Intimidate. Or, no, that's not Motham. That's a... Uh, fuck. Uh, that's not Motham. That's the... Uh, leave what that is in the comments. I can't believe I don't know what that's called. I have been away from Pokemon for a while. But, yeah, he goes down to a waterfall. Plus one. And now he goes into Pelipper. And now I'm just going to lock myself into Outrage. And that's almost going to take him out. And, uh, he's going to go for the Toxic. It's fine. I still have a Rotom Wash. So if he does stall out this Kingdra, times four Thunderbolts coming his way. Life Orb. So, whatever. <laughs> yeah, super into this. No, I'm sorry. I'm going to try and get back into this as hardcore as I can, but I thought that you guys deserved at least one more vid, because I did promise that if I got those five likes in, um, five likes, and one comment, I would post another. And so that's what I'm doing. And one of these days, you're going to see my face, but one of these days, I'm going to need a camera. But Pelipper goes down, I beat for it, good game for it, that was a 3-0. So, rate, comment, subscribe, guys, and hopefully more vids are coming. Peace. See you.